Hey, look, it's Michael Fazio from Key Largo. And Michael Fazio has a $10,000 standing bet that no theologian or so-called scholar can prove that what I am about to say to you is incorrect. Now, I'm going to take this picture off of this magazine, and we're going to look at this picture of the Ark of the Covenant, complete with the angels. And now, I, this is where the bet begins. I, Michael Fazio, state that this Ark of the Covenant that you see before you is represented on the $1 bill. And I have proven this in my book, Angels on the Ark. Now, why you haven't seen this as the greatest discovery of the 21st century is because the Zionists and the pedophiles that run the Roman Catholic Church will not allow my information to become known and global because I have proven in my book, Angels on the Ark, that what you see before you is a perfect characterization and or pictograph of the Ark of the Covenant placed upon the $1 bill. My words that I just spoke to you cannot be disproven, and $10,000 says you can't disprove me. All you need is a degree in theology or religion to debate me in a public forum, and $20,000. 10000 for the lawyers, 10000 for the actual bet, and I will debate you in a public forum. You cannot prove that this is not a depiction of the Ark of the Covenant, and I will tell you why. What you see on top of the Ark of the Covenant are two angels. What you see on the ends of the Ark of the Covenant is the face of, an, of a seraphim, one of the two faces of the seraphim. And when I rotate it, there is the other face of the seraphim. Okay, even if I flip it upside down, there are still two faces of the two of the seraphim, the two faces of the seraphim facing before and behind, and then we go to the other side, and then you see the opposite faces facing before and behind. These are the depictions of the seraphim. And the six-winged seraphim, the wings themselves are represented by the what appears to be leaf-like structures that surround the God Pod, as quoted and coined in my book, and the evil seed of death, as quoted and coined and copyrighted in my book, Angels on the Ark. What you see before you is the table, or the mercy seat, where the Lord God's Shinka, or energy sat, and while he was dragged through the desert by the wandering Hebrews. What you see right here, is one of the four ringlets that hold the poles of Shittimwood. The pole of Shittimwood is represented by the orange line that runs across the bottom and the white line, because I didn't color it in, that runs across the top. Here is the third ringlet and here is the fourth ringlet. All of the pictures, if you stop your video at any point in time, all of the words on this are proof that my discovery is the greatest discovery in the, of the 20th and 21st century because I actually discovered this in 1999 but didn't publish until 2010 and my book Angels on the Ark is a 1990 page ebook sold by PayPal through GoDaddy website which is a 100 percent secure and safe website for the price of three dollars and ninety nine cents but I can't guarantee that that price is going to remain three dollars and ninety nine cents for much longer it is nineteen hundred and ninety pages six hundred and two thousand words and it is one hundred and thirty pictures of the one dollar bill depicting all of the things that I just described to you in this video I state that this is a picture of the Ark of the Covenant on the one dollar bill and if I am correct and I am then the fact that the United States Mafia put a picture of the Ark of the Covenant on the reverse of the one dollar bill is proof positive that this world has been controlled by a remnant race of beings or a society from another world aka aliens and we are their descendants or protege 
my book proves beyond any doubt that this world has been controlled by the people that control the Vatican and the people that control England and the people that control the United States, the real people that control the United States, not the MOOC in the White House and not the Congress. There is a group of beings that run this world behind the scenes that you never learn about. My discovery proves that these beings exist and that this picture or pictograph of the Ark of the Covenant on the reverse of the one dollar bill is how they communicate with each other via the King James Bible. My book, Angels on the Ark, proves every word of what I just said. And if it didn't, then someone in the last 30 months would have taken my $10,000 Fazio challenge and tried to prove even one thing that I just stated was wrong. But the bet is, the wager is, I state this as a depiction of the Ark of the Covenant. You need to be a so-called scholar or theologian and vetted in that world of so-called scholarly nonsense and then you can debate me in a public forum after you put up your twenty thousand dollars now you can't prove me wrong and that's why no one's taken my challenge and therefore I am correct and this is the greatest discovery in the 21st century what you are looking at right now are all of the beasts that are set upon and protect the Ark of the Covenant what you are looking at right now is a depiction of the mercy seat where the Lord God sat. And what you are looking at right now is an interpretation of the first commandment. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Now why this is done, I cannot tell you. Or I could tell you, but you wouldn't believe me. So I might as well tell you. There has been a group of beings either remnant society from this world that has controlled this planet via religion and politics for millions of years. All of the past civilizations that have existed on this planet are all part of that remnant society that has controlled this world. They are the same people, entities, or species of creature, I do not know which, that placed this hog-nosed bat on the reverse of the one dollar bill with a depiction of the Skull and Bones representing the Skull and Bones Society created in the year 1832 with the number 322 on their dormitory door. The Skull and Bones Society placed a hog-nosed bat on the one dollar bill, but they didn't do it. This bill was created 7,000 years ago before the Great Pyramid along with the Ark of the Covenant design and the design for the Great Pyramid the one dollar bill and the King James Bible were all created by the same race or remnant race of beings that has existed on this world for millions and perhaps billions of years and on the other side they placed a perfect depiction of a horned owl notice the snoot and the nostrils notice the wings that exist over the God pod and the evil seed of death there are also several thousand other pictographs described in my book, Angels on the Ark. There are bugs, there are things that creep, and there are snakes. There is even a leviathan located in something that you see right here. And I have proven all of this in my book, Angels on the Ark. And yet, even with a $10,000 bet, there is no so-called scholar or theologian on earth that will take my challenge and take my money and then give it to some charity of their choice because they can't prove a single word of what I said is incorrect. And what is holding me back right now are the Zionists that control the movie industry, the newspaper publishing industry, the television industry, and every other form of communication, and now including YouTube, Google, and the Internet. And they are diminishing my work by not allowing it to go global. Some of my videos, especially this video that I call the God Pod, should have gone global and viral in 10 minutes. Because what you are looking at here is a depiction of the first 17 verses of the book of Genesis. You are also looking at the evil seed of death, 
on this side. And now you are looking at a nuclear detonation over the eagle's head. Now these things are proven in my book. Therefore, I should have gotten the recognition for what I just stated. But they refuse to recognize my great discoveries. Because if they do, and it is proven that this is a representation of Satan, and I am the first person in the world of all of these so-called scholars and theologians to see this information. If this is all proven to be true, that means that all of the so-called scholars and educational people in theological societies are all idiots compared to Michael Fazio, a carpenter, once again a carpenter from Queens, New York, that speaks with broken English, with a broken Brooklyn accent, has kicked the ass of all the theologians and so-called scholars on the planet Earth. And anybody that tries or dares to prove me wrong at any time in the future will get nothing but their ass kicked because Michael Fazio is smarter than any theologian or so-called scholar when it comes to the pictographs and their relationship, aka the codex, between the Bible and the one dollar bill. And anybody that tries to prove me wrong will get their ass kicked in public. I will take their $20,000 and I will spank them in a public debate. And this is Michael Fazio from Key Largo saying God day to everybody.